Welcome back, my beautiful collective. This is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Gods and Goddesses. We are back with another general energy read. Please thumbs up the video on your way in. I'm not here to keep you long. I've cleared our space of all negative energy. I've prayed over this reading. And I want to say cheers to you on this Wake and Bake Saturday. We're going to get started with Get Your Shit Together, Sweetening Up Bullshit. Somebody could be trying to gaslight you regarding the truth. Let's see, my beautiful collective. Okay. Get this read on a go. One more. for good measure. Okay, let's cut them and see what we get. Somebody needs to get their shit together. They could be dealing with somebody who's trying to gaslight light them, sweetening up the bullshit. We got winning season, though. So they may not be able to even fuck with you, my beautiful collection. Okay. Well, we, we definitely dealing with a leech. Okay, and they are known for sweetening up bullshit. Somebody wrote a check they couldn't, uh, they ass couldn't cash. And they have spiritually bankrupted themselves. They are experiencing some weird ass karma because they tried to sweeten up the bullshit. They want to gaslight you. Got a lot going on. You belong to me. I really don't give a fuck about them. This is somebody who has a karmic spirit. Apparently somebody who's been uh, creeping. <clears throat> Excuse me, my beautiful collective. And they tried to tell you some bogus ass story. And they want you to accept it. They want you to accept all the bullshit they feeding you. Okay? That's all their main purpose is about is acceptance. I want you to accept the bullshit, the karmic bullshit, the extra bullshit, all the bullshit they tried to sweeten up. This person is a vulture. They know how to go right for the juggler when you don't agree. But they didn't know who they was fucking with when they started fucking with you, my beautiful collective. It came out anyway. Sweetening up the bullshit. We talking about Somebody who's trying to gaslight you by sweetening up the bullshit. And end up writing a check they ass couldn't cash. They tried to drain you. Vulture. Mm -hmm. They tried to drain you of all your beautiful energy with the bullshit. And they wanted you to accept it. They wanted you to accept the lie that you belong to them and they really don't give a fuck about anybody else, about them. You belong to them, but they really don't give a fuck about the other people. So they want you to know you belong to me. But they wasn't ready to experience that spiritual bankruptcy. See, this person is getting all kind of weird-ass karma for not being not being true to a goddess. You are a goddess. That's the mother-freaking energy we in. You are a goddess. 
And this is a vulture and a leech you dealing with. But see, now this person is suffering in silence. Because they wrote a check they asked couldn't cash. When it came to trying to drain you. Of all that beautiful blessed energy you carry. Now they suffering in silence. Dealing with all kind of weird karmic energy. See, what they should have did was research who they were messing with, okay? They should have researched who you were. They should have took the time out to really sit back and study you, uh-huh, and learn who the fuck you really are. If they would have did their research, then they would have knew that you would have never accepted that sweet bullshit they was trying to feed you. No. If they would have did their research, my beautiful collective, they would have knew that they could not suck you dry. Okay? See, they should have did their research and they would have knew. You was giving them the benefit of the doubt until you started seeing their true colors. They was draining. They was clingy as fuck. Now they don't want to let you go because they got to deal with this red karma. And see, that's why they tried to feed you the bullshit. You know, oh no, baby, you belong to me. I really don't give a fuck about them. Right. They wanted you to accept all those lies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They thought they could shit on your, on your, <laughs> they thought they could shit on your pancakes and it was supposed to taste good. You, yeah, you was not supposed to gag at all, okay? But what they didn't understand is that you are a goddess. Period. Now this motherfucker is feeling cursed. <laughs> they feeling cursed because of this. Look, this is why they feeling cursed. Because they wrote a check mm -hmm, that ass couldn't cash. Now they depleted of all their beautiful spiritual energy. It's gone. They now are experiencing life, a lifetime of bad luck and misfortune. Absolutely, they feeling cursed. Absolutely, they feeling cursed. Like motherfuckers just jabbing them with pins and shit. Yeah, they just, of course, we knew this. They jealous as fuck. Mm-hmm. That's why they tried to convince you about the other bullshit. My beautiful collective. We knew this, this is definitely an ex. Friend, lover, partner. Whoever the fuck that thought they was going to come and leech off of a goddess was crazy as, as a motherfucker. Especially when they thought they could sweeten up the bullshit. They should have researched. They should have did better research on you. Now their ass is suffering in silence and feeling cursed. Because they didn't take the time out to get to know you. They thought they could just be a vulture. And drain you of your energy and your finances. Which was a no-no. Just a leech. Feed you all that bullshit. And you were supposed to just go for it. You knew about all the lies that was being told to you. You tried to tell them. Gonna keep, that, keep doing that same bullshit. But at the end of the day, 
It's time for them, my masculine. It's time for you to let go and give it to God. And accept the truth that you should have did your research on that goddess you thought you was going to fuck with. For some of you guys, this person could be on the down low. But they are angry as fuck. They feeling like <laughs> instead of giving you the love potion number nine, that shit got backfired and they drunk some love. But some of these people could be on the down low. That's why they angry. And right now, you in your winning season. Okay? You ain't got time for the bullshit that's trying to drain you and hold you, hold you back. You tried to lift this vulture and leech up and uh, make them into a divine masculine. You tried to bring them up to your level. You tried to elevate this divine person. You can't fucking make this up. But you couldn't because they insisted on being a vulture and a leech. Leech. Now they in that Saturn energy, karma. All because they was telling lies. This person is experiencing karma. They now realize, you can't make this up, that you are that it girl. You are a goddess. You the it girl. No, but they wanted to be a, a, a motherfucking... Wolf in sheep's clothing. That's what got them fucked up. See, but now it's time for them to let go and give it to God. That all this karma came from them being manipulative. Period. Let go, give it to God, take a spiritual bath, and regroup. And next time, do your research before you start trying to just fuck with somebody you know nothing about. And you have ill intention, ill intentions. We always knew. You always knew. This person was emotionally unavailable man. Didn't we say masculine energy? That's why he was so manipulative. It was so easy for him to be manipulative. To come off as a vulture and a leech. Because this person was emotionally unavailable. But they tried to make you believe that you belong to them and them other people it absolutely meant nothing to them. You can't make it up. Spirit is letting us know. You are a goddess who carries around that goddess energy. You that it girl. What else, spirit? <laughs> yeah, somebody's suffering in silence. <laughs> on this Saturday. They definitely want to talk to you. And they realize this was a soul lesson. You absolutely knew it was. But this person is now learning that this was a soul lesson. You do not fuck with a divine energy. You just don't. And it's time for them to give it to God and let go and look for the learning. Appreciate the learning experience. It was a lesson. They definitely are trying to get back to you. They don't they they definitely want you to open up the lines of communication. They is ready to run back for sure. Yeah, they ready to come flying in, my beautiful collective. This per person has never had a dose of love potion like you gave it to them. 
at the bottom of the freaking tarot deck, we have the Two of Cups. They now know that you were their divine counterpart. They should have invested more. Now they reaping what they sow, my beautiful collective. Yeah, now they are taking the time out. They are definitely in hermit mode after this. They are definitely suffering in silence. Again, this person realizes you are their true counterpart with the Two of Cups. But they now know they reaping what they sow. They didn't invest as much as they should have in you because they were emotionally unavailable. But the beautiful part, they have taken a time out. They are now in hermit mode because you left them the fuck alone. And the light bulb has came in. They have went within themselves. They're doing a lot of soul searching. They want to discover that energy that you shared with them. They are trying to get that back. So they are doing a lot of meditation. But you definitely not fucking with them no more. And they realize you are their queen of cups. You are every thing they wanted to be in love with. So again, now they're ready for you to just open up. They're ready to talk about it. They're ready to confess. But for a lot of you guys, you have moved on. You know your worth. You are a goddess. You are that it girl that carries that goddess energy at the end of the day. You made the right decision. Anybody try to suck you dry? Leech off of you? Let that shit go. And let they ass suffer in silence. Hence the hermit card. <laughs> Next time they'll do their research, okay? On that note, this is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Gods and Goddesses. I want everybody to go out there, have a beautiful, beautiful, safe, blessed Saturday. And I look forward to reading for you guys again. We are on our way to 500. Thank you to all my new subscribers, old subscribers, and day ones. I want to say God bless you. Until next time, please thumbs up the video on your way out if you didn't on your way in. And again, hit that subscription bell and notification button. God bless. Until next time.